Well, if you've been thriving in quarantine, listen up. NASA is looking to pay people to live in isolation in Russia for eight months with a small crew of researchers. They want to find ways to limit problems that may arise if crew members must isolate during missions. There are some strict requirements to apply. You have to be between 30 and 55 with a graduate degree or experience as a military officer, and you have to speak both Russian and English. Zach, I don't think either of us qualify. It, it's amazing how quickly I didn't check off any of those boxes. I got like the first one and then I was out. I was able to check <laughs> off English, so way to go. And even at that, I sometimes struggle. So as we roll through our Friday, we are looking absolutely stunning. Still clear skies carried over from what was Wednesday and Thursday. It's been a really nice stretch. And this morning is a noticeable difference from what we had 24 hours ago. We fell back into the 30s below the freezing mark in parts of Bristol County yesterday morning at this time. Actually, slip back into the 20s for those in Martha's Vineyard. No longer the case. Everyone rather uniform between the low and the mid 50s with the exception of 49 degrees right now in New Bedford. But that is not going to stop our warmth. We are going to be right back into above average temperatures this afternoon. In fact, the warmest that we have seen for quite some time. Feeling like a summer Friday. As we go into the height of our day, plenty of sunshine to go around. Low and mid 80s from the Boston area up into the North Shore right through the Merrimack region. We also are going to include the Monadnock region, the southwestern New Hampshire right down through Worcester County. The only area that seems to fall shy of that is going to be Martha's Vineyard and Nantucket as the winds are persistent out of the southwest anywhere from 10 to 15 miles per hour. Now that is going to be sustained, not exactly too gusty and it's a welcome wind as we obviously usher in some of these warmer temperatures. So the latest satellite loop, you're barely looking at a cloud in the sky. But when we broaden this out, there's been a very persistent wave of low pressure that just seems to keep circling out towards the Tennessee Valley. And this is the one that we put our focus on for tomorrow. Tomorrow morning. So we start increasing the clouds overnight, and our temperatures actually remain in the 60s. So stopping in here at 8 a.m. on Saturday, you notice some isolated pockets. I'm not thinking the rain tomorrow is going to be a big issue, but what is going to happen is those south and east hold on to lingering showers as we go into the afternoon hours, and then we start spilling out those clouds. So from north to south, we'll actually start clearing skies, but as that happens, our temperatures drop in the afternoon. So the warmest portion of the day is going to be in the morning, and then we start seeing the 50s as we return closer to about 4 5 p.m. Typically, that's some of the warmest hours of the day. And then obviously, the cool down is going to arrive as we move into the overnight hours with brighter skies for Sunday as well as Monday. So, not looking at a lot of activity north of the Worcester to Boston line as you make your way south and east, specifically looking out to the Cape and the islands. That's going to be our best chance for some of this light rain. I really don't think it's amounting to much. And the good news is you won't have to wait long for more sunshine. We're right back into it for Sunday. There as well on Monday, we may increase. Increase the clouds to a point for Memorial Day itself. But if you're going up to the lakes and the mountains, you really can't beat this with mostly sunny skies across the board for our three day weekend in the low 70s for our highs. Back into the 80s as we move into Tuesday. Warmer still for Wednesday with a chance of showers. And Brianna, we're capping off the seven day forecast near 90 degrees. All right, all of a sudden it's summer, Zach. Thank you.